Hey, brother, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you know I got a Phantom? I love it. First drop I've ever had. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, but I'm, I don't want to sell it. I finally get the Phantom. I got everything perfect on it. I just got it back, and I get a phone call from my buddy wanting the car. Story of my life. All right, all right, I'll come over and look, but you better be ready to step up if you want my car. That's all I got to tell you. I'm not really looking to sell it, but I do know the quality of the cars you got, and I'm, you know, I'm in the car business. Thank you. Well, my day might be getting brighter. This guy wants my Phantom bed, and he's got a whole slew of really nice classic cars. I know because he got them from me. He will step up, and if he does, my day is gonna get a whole lot better. Hey, Marcus, my computer's working, and you didn't fix it. Ha! I got the phone call from the guy wanting to trade me, then I touch the computer and it starts working again. So maybe that's a sign. Maybe today's not gonna be so bad. If this deal goes through, this terrible Tuesday could become a Ted Tuesday. Things are looking up. I'm excited. Hey, Eric, what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on, brother? All right. Ready to do some business? You know I'm ready. I was born All ready. I right, hear you, brother. Came down from Kissimmee. I've done a few deals with Ted. Brought him a nice Roadrunner. It's a 74 Roadrunner, big block, dual tunnel ram. It's just a beast of a car. I was checking out his website, and he has a 73 Caprice that I might be interested in if the deal's right. As you can see, it's totally gorgeous. Nothing to do. Ready to roll. I think I smell the paint. Brand new paint. Look at this. this Airbrush cool. it. Everything. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. I like that. That makes the car. Wait until you hear it. You'll like it even more. Will those hold air for a while? Oh, yeah. Pretty serious car. It's got a dual car. It's four barrels, ton of RAM. You get the Mickey Thompsons on it. I mean, you don't have one here to compare to this. I mean, it's unbelievable. You're going to want it badly, trust me. If the deal's right, you're going to own it. If the deal's right, I'm going to own it. If the deal's not right, I'm not going to own it. There's only one way to find out. Let's go check out that Chevy. I like your shirt. Thank you. I, I might be leaving would. with me. Hey, the deal's right. Everything's like for sale. It's like my Brutus. There you go. I've done a bunch of deals with Eric. I like the Roadrunner. If I can make a trade with him, I'm going to own that car. I think that Plymouth will do mid-20s to 30s. I value my Chevy mid-teens to 20. I think there's a difference there of 10, 12 grand. We normally bat heads, but I think this is an easy deal. I know where I got to be. I know I got to step up. I think I'll be happy and it'll be quick. 73 dunk. Yes, sir. All right. I believe I've seen it before. Caprice, you know the car. It's got the 400 in it. Yep. AC. It's mm -hmm. got the wheels. It's got everything. Yeah. I know your car's worth more. I'm not stupid. Of course. But let's try to make this happen. It needs what you can see. Yeah. It is what it is, you know? They it all need something. It is what it is, but it has the window everyone likes. Yes, sir. It's pretty fat in the interior. Yeah, not bad looking. No. Nope. If the deal's right, let's get something done. Come on, I'm hungry. I want to go home. 12 grand and you own the road run. Why do you take shots at me? Ted's not easy to deal with, so we're gonna see what happens. I mean, every time he always puffs and huffs, but we always get it done. I put the Plymouth around 25, so if he comes up with like 12 grand in the Chevy, I think we can get a deal done. Everything is a win-win situation for Ted, because I mean, I drove the farthest, but I'm sure he's gonna jump on it. The most I'd pay on a deal like this is like 12, but you know, realistically, 10 is fair for both. That's the number that I'm shooting at. The Chevy is a donk, it's a special car. You know, and I export them, I sell them local. Let's make this easy for the first time out of all the deals we've done. Easy? 12 grand in this, and it's a wrap. Would you stop? Come on. Come on, would a you? A road runner? Big I'm block, not arguing dual the point. I'm not, I'm not criticizing your car. And I'm gonna step up and make you an offer and be done with it. The shirt has to go to me. Okay, the deal's right. Okay, good. I'll give you $10,000 difference. I'm done. You got yourself a deal, brother. That works, doesn't it? Yes, That's sir. That's fair, isn't it? Yes, for both of us. I was easy today, wasn't I? Easy enough. <laughs> it Much was worth easier. the trip. This All time right. it was worth the trip. All right, good. I got the shirt. I'll bring that home, show it to Brutus. I tried to get this as easy as possible. I gave him a good deal, and uh, he accepted it. We got the deal done, but I literally had to give him the shirt off of my back. Ted got my shirt, but I got the cash. That's all that matters. I'm going to fix it up and bring it to him and make a killing off of it. When I'm done with it, he's going to want it back. Eric wanted 12, I said 10, but I want the shirt off your back. I got the shirt off his back. I got myself a pit bull to bring home and show Brutus. I'm good to go. Deal's done. <laughs>